Humans with the OP step lances. Yeah, that's the most broken we ever had. I got Turks. I didn't even pick them. One sec, I need to switch the scene. Is this a is this a sign that I have to try the ram bullshit? <laughs> he probably is gonna think that I picked them to do that crap. Uh, my map is extremely open though. I'm not sure if I really can just do it like that. Might have to play a regular feud ledge, but we could try and transition to it later. You would still get very punished if you just do it without any de defense or protection. So I'm not sure if anyone was watching it. I mean, some of you definitely were, but we tr we tried yesterday to play crossbows with siege towers and Malians. Uh, not Malians, uh, Portuguese. But yeah, with siege towers, you have to manually drop off at, at a specific point all the time. You cannot just eject them randomly. You have to manually unload them at a selected point, and that makes it not work with siege towers. Yeah, I think we go. We'll open scouts and adapt from there. Extra fast cat? Oh, you want to? <laughs> nah, I mean, honestly, the, like I could turn this to 500 food, those dragon trees, right? I mean, I can turn all the, this whole woodline, I can turn to food with that bug. But, yeah, that will make that thing very broken. Let's not do that. When you're collecting food and then you click wood or gold and then press drop off hotkey, you don't get any resources. When you're collecting food and then click wood or gold and drop off, you don't get any resources. Really? Like you don't even get the food? Try it? I don't want to waste my food. <laughs> I don't want to lose my food. <laughs> Is that really the case? Let's try. Okay, we have two food. You're right. You, I didn't even get the food. What? <laughs> I didn't even get the food. I just lost two food. I got scammed. That is crazy, yo. Huh? Yeah, something must have gone haywire with the whole coding around the around the uh, drop resource hotkey. Like I, I, I like, look, okay, I think the idea and the drop of hotkey is really good for quality of life purposes. But yeah, obviously those types of bugs they have to be fixed. Like that moment there now where I just needed to collect food to get to fuel age, it's so smooth because of the new drop hotkey. Drop resource hotkey. So I'm still very happy about it, but they need to obviously fix it. I got the first hit. We're chilling. Ha! I have two hits more now. Hey, double sheep! Does the palace add a wolf to make it stay still work? It should not. Neither with the boar situation. It should not work, but I have not tested it myself. Let's do this.
Usta. Tamam. Emrin. Seyiz. Şamar against who? Uh, it's me, Hera, ACCM and same name against... Yo, Vivi, I think Lux and the sponsor of the show match. It's like $500 show match. Play five games. It's just for fun for the most part. We'll see what settings there are. I don't know yet. Yeah, the plan is to get to test if we think the the RAM behavior is mega broken or not. We'll see if we get there. Single lumber camp. When you move into new house, uh, next week. No, not work next week. The week after. Twenty sixth and twenty seventh are our move dates. This is fine. I have the hill as well. Oh, look at all this food! Wood income, uh, food income I'm gonna have. I'm so hyped. Real talk, why we make it look easy when I queue up, I get smashed. I've played this game for a long time. So you really want to commit? I mean, this is like a trade where I'm like, in the end, okay. Sure, I lost the villager, but he has lost already one, one and a half HP of his scouts. Which means that in scout engagements, I'm going to have the initiative every single time. Which is something I'm kind of fine with. I'd rather have control of the game with army than one more villager. The problem might even be able to kill all of them. Don't see a spare from him yet. Oh, he's actually going archers. I mean, I have on paper sc scouts with armor. So you could argue that I can maybe hold this without adding. But that also depends a lot on how much. How much. Uh, how many spirits he's adding. Oh, hello. That's always a very good start for me. He just lost his archers for free, essentially. Oh, don't want to do that. I think that went very, very well for me. Yo, Yui, thank you for the Prime. Rode with the Prime as well. Kavas with the Prime. Spartacus, 41 long months. Aeritas with the Prime. Very kind, very kind. Does the kid has a name already? Uh, we are talking a little bit as in like trying, trying to see how it feels to say certain names. But... No, we have not confirmed anything. I'm not gonna like commit on a name before we see him. That makes sense. We might feel different upon seeing him. And no, it's not gonna be named Morton. Tough to make it. Thank you very much for the seven months. I just watched Hero video on Ramstrat. It's weak AF. You need just need is magnus and close range. 
think like a big knight play will also shut it down. Because the castle more often than not will come at home, which means your army will out be out and exposed. So the opponent just playing knights on paper should be enough to deal with it. Yes. Of course, you need a healthy amount of knights, but you know, point still stands. Oh. Did not expect him to come forward again so soon. I'm just gonna send my scouts back. He made so many spears, holy cow. I think he wasn't expecting me to make a range. The moment he doesn't have fletchings, I don't think I need... I don't think I need to do fletching either. Nice. Not sure what happened there, but that was obviously good for me. Is that micro please? Fine. Morton Barbarossa. It's an interesting name. They're forcing a tower, that's good. Nice. I mean, I should keep these alive because they will turn into light cat as well. But this is kind of a game where I'm like, I'm getting the lead from the start. So it's like, if I win now with the ramp push, it might not be a good indicator of how good the ramp push thing actually is. Ooh. Talk about keeping them alive, and I do that. I don't have wood upgrade. Disaster. It's fine though, I have a lot of wood. It looks of it. Last night Matisse didn't shoot arrows at all with six wheels garrisoned. But he had one spear and then the, the TC wouldn't shoot arrows? Mm. That's us. He has double stable, so he's obviously gonna go knights. I'm fine with this. Just get rid of as much of their units as possible. ASAP as possible. What do I do my castle? Do it at home? I mean, I obviously have to do it at home, but like... I think this is a good spot because it will defend kind of my whole economy. I think I have to do a seed workshop from home as well. Because otherwise I don't have safety moving out on the map. Maybe we'll do a second seed workshop forward down the road, but... Oh shit. He's already here. Okay, that's fine. Need more gold. Yeah. 
One ramble chases away. So, we're gonna see how good this truly is. Like I said, I think Knights is one of the ways to deal with this. Where... You just take out the ram and then you can... Kill the units, right? But then again, it's not that easy to just take out the ram. I mean, like, the Genesis can still micro run in, jump in and out, in and out, all that good stuff. Yeah, I gotta be a little bit careful, though, because he can still harass me from the back. We want to make sure we don't take too much unnecessary damage. You were not supposed to be there. That went very well. He had one more ram. He's, like, he's already picking up relics because I can't see any of them. There's no relic. All right. Now let's see the power of this. Now we can finally get to test it properly. I would like to kind of have 12, so I can at least fit two rams perfectly. With two rams, I would feel like we get a proper test. Okay, let's go. He has a lot of knights though. This doesn't feel great with the amount of knights he has, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like this will not do very well. <laughs> Like, he has kind of the tools he would need to defend this, I feel like. It's not a town center. Here it goes. I don't see his army anywhere, so let's, uh, let's move forward a bit. And here we could jump on the tower, I guess. But even that doesn't feel good. Huh. See, it's almost like knights counter it. Not that broken? Yeah, like I think it's only gonna be really broken against if you hit the really fast timing or if um, if the opponent is making like weak units. Like in this case, these knights can jump, take out my rams and he can uh, destroy the rams and then fight my units, right? For example, if I'm against skirms, the skirms don't do damage to the rams, so it's not scary. Or it's not like I'm... I'm not going to be able to just instantly clean up the rams so his units eject, right? I want to try though with Elite Janissaries as well, because Elite Janissaries have like instant fire. They have no attack delay. It could be extremely broken with them. 
I need to secure this wood line. Not the wood line, the gold. We can do like a house wall to do that. Oh, upgrader. I can do cap ramps. Okay, we are taking this to the next level, huh? Do you guys remember the reload time when I jump in and out? Yeah, I think so. Else it wouldn't be as powerful. Is this open anywhere? No. Yeah, we're completely walled on that side. That's good. So no surprise raids there. Yeah, with the Legion series, I think it can be very powerful. Not only do we get extra damage output, but we have the instant reload. I don't have wood to make a gate. Should have done stone gate. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Captain will have more garrison space as well. I'm just ungarrison everything. Could also make bomber cannons now on paper. Do I go siege ram? This is so dumb. Now I have to wait though for the Seedrum upgrade. I have a Hussar. He's imp. See how they have instant delay or delay fire? I mean, this is ugly. I'm a little bit trapped. I can't. I will fight better if I fight normally. <laughs> Let's not pretend otherwise. Alright, we're still fine though. Well, we're not fine, but like... Believe it or not, I think we still have winning chances. As long as he makes only Cavalier, I think we still have chances to win. You see, this is a guy that obviously had an idea of how to deal with this. He figured out what I was going to do when I went to Cast Lich, and he just made a, an appropriate response. Okay, my next answer has to be a second castle. I need a forward position with a castle. Yeah, he cannot split. He doesn't have enough numbers to split. Oh, he has a lot of monks, though. 
those monks move faster and I'm not devoted. The instant fire delay though, like they don't have an attack delay when they are elite, it's so nice. I just sold my stone when the purpose of this was to get more stone. That didn't really make sense, did it? You don't want to take the ram? God, they're inaccurate. Do you not need ballistics? No. They don't benefit from ballistics. Okay, let's try to go there. Looks like he's spreading out, spreading out to raid now, but that's also going to give me the opportunity to do that forecast I was referring to earlier. That also gives us control of one of his golds. And if he splits, splits his units like this, I also think that... Um, maybe it's good for me that I can get some damage in. Like he's gonna have like three units here, three units there, which means I think my Janisaris can also do a lot of work. If they hit their targets, that is. Of course, I'm taking some damage here. Yeah, Elite Genesis are far superior to Castle Genesis. Make no mistakes. Ooh, that hurts. That definitely hurts. But does he have the tools to fight this? This army? I'm a little bit stuck there for the time being. Yes, he built up enough castles to kind of one shot this. That's a good move by him. Don't know if I can or should save it. Looks like he doesn't have Fletching or Botkin Arrow. So I can probably clean one of them at least. That was a bait to try and make me not hit his uh, traps. That was a good one. I think my weakness right now is Siege Ram. He goes Siege Ram, I'm in trouble. Wait. Okay, that's fine actually. You guys continue there. Reinforcements will clean this up. Are Janissaries good or what? Let's get one bomber cannon. 
Weakness is non-existing economy. Yeah, but I have a way stronger army. As long as he doesn't add other units. Pray. Hey, let's go to take wood there. It's safer. Score lead. A villager there for some reason. Ooh, not waste the bomber cannon like this. Plus. Oh, it lives. It lives. If I can get into that pocket. Just sit there. I'll get a way better trade. Oh, I have my gather, TC gather point is off. I can probably go and snipe this. He has Bald Canaro now, though. Ah. He's raiding me. And then when I cannot snipe this. Need to find a way to hit his economy. No, I lost it. No. Nice. One ram with snipe traps, true, but I also have a bomber cannon on the way. I was kind of planning on that one being the... The trap sniper. This is a lot of his farming economy, but I would imagine he has farming economy on the right side as well. He has a castle there too. Okay, that's good. This army will still... Oh god. Okay, we're gonna lose this for sure. We need to hit his economy on the right side. Essentially. That one hurts a little bit. Don't have a university to do murder holes. He clearly didn't want me to come here. He's snowballing as well. I think this is a good move by him. On paper. Yeah, still hiding with units there. As long as this doesn't get out of control in his base and he cleans up my multiple castles. It's definitely a good play for him from him. So we have one castle. I can easily secure a second castle though, or buy a second castle. We can do that here so we can take that stone. It's an interesting game. I like it. But I think we're slowly edging closer towards death. I think he has too much farm economy. I mean, we are idling a lot of his farm economy now. Oh, not like this. I need a bigger army at home. Now I don't have gold income either. Oh, not like this either. Okay, he's just diving. He knows. As long as he doesn't allow me to build up numbers here. This is also where I made a mistake that I split my army too much. Because I am kind of the one who benefits from having all my army together. I'm 60 population. <laughs> we're, we're pretty dead here. But it was a very fun game. Genisteries are very strong. And I think this is also a good showcase for how the ram behavior isn't necessarily broken. Or the Genisteri ram thing. I mean, it could be as well because I went normal feudal age and... I didn't play like the super fast castle age and such. 
it might have a lot more potential in that scenario. Man, look how fast Janissaries take out buildings as well. This is insane. Didn't realize they were that good against buildings. I don't know if Siege take his castles either. Still should have more than enough economy to build units. To make sure he doesn't lose this. So yeah, this is also what I uh, predicted when I saw the round behavior, is that something like, like knights should be a very good counter to it. But of course, the snowball can still be very scary. Uh, his eco isn't that great, all things considered. If I kept one of these groups that I had here at home, maybe I could have held. That went Bohemians, Ram, and Hankinus, and. Oh, yeah, you can go Hankinus and Castlage with Bohemians like that. What if you combine it with pikemen? Uh, Turks don't have pikemen, and secondly, like this is not supposed to be an economic. Like I had way too much economy for how we have seen this otherwise, right? This is usually a straight fast castle, low economy, all in play. I had to, I could do a fast imp as a follow up, right? Seems like one mistake less, it would be winnable. Yeah, for sure. I also think he made a misplay not adding siege ram, right? If he if he adds his own siege ram, I think I cannot stop it at all. But yeah, I think the biggest mistake you can do, unless you have like a massive equal lead, I think the biggest mistake you do is go uh, skirmishers. Oh yeah, this stat could be broken against meso sieves, camel sieves as well, possibly. Yeah. Like if you don't have access to knights, or good knights rather, this could be very strong. But yeah, like I said, I think the absolute snowball happens mostly if the opponent makes skirms and maybe mangonels without having a big equal lead. If you have a big equal lead, you can trade and take worse trades. But otherwise, you need to go like knights, mangonels, or crossbow mangonels. Some, something that means you don't just die. Won't eagles kill it? Uh, Janissaries absolutely melt eagles. So it doesn't... It, eagles swarm can still work if you have like... But you need like... Let's say I have 12 Janissaries and 2 rams. I think you would need like 30 eagles to effectively clean that up. Yeah, lances will also do very well. It's fun though, but yeah, already this game I feel like... Again, this was not like a 17 minute cast late straight into the Ram Genesis, but even this game I feel like this is not broken, it's not something we have to be worried about. There will be scenarios where it feels like you're in a really tough spot and it's really hard to deal with it, but overall I still don't think it's something that is incredibly broken and needs addressing, at least not yet.